we have here is an ACK 30 Mod 3 encoder. There are two key parts to it, the A to D converter section and readout. Uh, this is a lookup ROM. So we do a linear analog to digital conversion of the pressure sensor, and then we convert that to the gray code table that's used uh, to squawk altitude in a transponder. And then these are the output drivers. These are open collector, which means you will not see any data on here unless you hook up a pull-up resistor to these. So I look at them over here on the drive side and invert the, uh, the values. This is the pressure sensor. It's thermostatically controlled. It has a thermostatic control circuit that looks like this, which I drew the schematic out for and learned how that works. And then also it has um, another portion on that schematic too which is the uh, uh, actual pressure sensor um, instrumentation amp, which looks like this. So here's the pressure sensor. This is a differential instrumentation amp, standard configuration. You can look that up online. And so that's all inside of here, connected by this cable. Now, this stays warm, and that's why it's insulated with styrofoam, which I cut open to troubleshoot it. But that's all there is to it. And right now, that's drawing about 110 amps, goes up and down a little bit depending on temperature. Um, that's the heater cycling on and off when you see it change. But anyway, that's how the system works, and right now it appears to be working. These two pots, the high altitude and low altitude pot, need to be adjusted to be calibrated. I wouldn't trust it without checking it on the bench first with a pressure source. But that's it. I'm going to put it back together and you can do what you like with it, but for some reason it's now working, and my guess is it's because I slid this connector on and off a couple of times, and that might have been what it was. Also, I reflowed some of the um, solder connections on the board inside the styrofoam here. Um, took the styrofoam off, obviously, then did that, and I've taped it back together, and it seems to be happy. So um, when the thing first powers up, it'll draw a lot of current, which we didn't see the other day, and that's the heater heating up, and as the heater starts to reach the target temperature, the current will drop back down to something about like that, where you see it now. So it's fully warmed up. Okay, that's all there is to an ACK encoder. And look, it has my old armor mater that I worked for for five years, Maxim. I was the director of the Austin Design Center for Maxim. Talk to you later. Bye.